boys and girls, would you like to hear a story? This is actually a true story. And I'm only telling it because I have nothing to review. So we're going to do a story about my baseball career. That's right. A lot of people didn't know, realize that I used to play a little baseball. When I say little, I mean a real little. I'm not talking about college ball or high school ball. Just little league. <laughs> but after a little league, I went to high school. So I was probably, you know, 15, 16 years old. I tried out for the baseball team at my local, at my high school, Venice High School in California. Same high school that filmed, uh, what's it called? Greece? Anyways, who cares about that? This is an unbelievable true story that I will tell. My coach said, you will tell the story for the rest of your life. And guess what? I do. <laughs> he was right. Probably one of the few right things he actually said. I didn't like this coach. Let's go back to, let's go back to when I was uh, playing Little League. So when I was playing Little League, um, to me, baseball is all about hitting. I didn't care much about feeling. Who cares? I played like first base, the easiest position. It was all about hitting, hitting home runs. So when I was in Little League, all I did was swing for the fences. And I didn't hit the ball that much. So I struck out a lot or hit the ball real hard. But my average was really low, and in the long run, I realized, <sighs> if I want to be a real baseball player, i got to be consistent and be more more, uh, what's the word, valuable for the team. And valuable means get on base. So, in the summer before going to high school, would you believe that they had opened up a batting cages right near my neighborhood? I mean, it was a good walk away or a good bike ride away, but nonetheless, it was there. You know, we were young, we went everywhere, so. And then uh, for the first, oh, I want to say month or so, when they opened up, they allowed everybody to play free, just so you kind of get used to it, know the place. Well, we were poor kids, you know what I'm talking about, from the neighborhood, had nothing else to do, it was the summertime, so we spent all month, every single day, all day long, at these batting cages. And I learned how to make contact really well. But, uh, I wouldn't say it was a powerful swing, but it was a good line drive hit swing. So I. I got really good at hitting that ball just about every time I got over the base. But it wasn't very powerful. But I was like, that's okay. So going back to my baseball high school career. So uh, I was pretty much on the team. And this is, we, we were, at the beginning of the season, the, high, the, the varsity team and the JV, junior varsity team, practiced together. And uh, so we were, we were having, we had one more last final cuts. And I was pretty much, I'm on the team, so I'm awesome. But we had this final scrimmage game against each other, so we split the team up, or the, the team up into two different teams. We played each other um, on this our home, our home baseball field. So late through the game, I was pretty cocky, right? I'm like, I'm awesome. So I go to the coach, hey coach, how am I doing? Expecting him to say, hey, you're doing great. You're doing a great job. But he didn't. He said, Ugh. he looks down on his paper on his chart says, not so good. I'm like, what are you talking about? Aren't I like four for four or something? I guess we played a lot. But anyways, so uh, he looked down, he's like, yeah, they're, you got four for four, but they're all singles. I'm like, well, that's good. That's batting a thousand for the game. What in the world, what do you want from me? He's like, oh, they're all singles. I said, fine. <clears throat> I have one more up a bat. My next bat, I'm gonna hit a home run. That's right, I told him, I'm gonna hit a home run. He looked at me, of course, and like, whatever, dude. So then it was my turn. I got up to the plate, and just like Babe Ruth style, I stepped out of the plate and pointed to the fence, to the left field fence. Everybody was like, dude, just get in there, you knucklehead, thinking I'm crazy. I said, I just pulled up back in, my other tiger, focus on that ball, and the first pitch, boom, home run. That's right. I called a home run shot. Me and Babe Ruth. That's it. So, of course, everybody was in like, what? Shocked. So, I ran around the bases. Of course, we were, like I said, it's the same team, but the other team was like, 
wow, good, amazing. They were, everybody was shaking my hand while I was going around the bases. I came back, the whole team's waiting for me at the home plate, you know, and you're like, yeah, good job, wow, awesome, you know, doing high fives to everybody. So I walked straight, after hitting the plate, I went straight to the coach. And I said, in your face, coach, in your face. He looked at me like, didn't say a word. The next day, I was cut off the team, and that was the end of my baseball career. But, nonetheless, I don't think I really needed a career after that, because I got the story. I got the story of a lifetime. Of course, it would have been better if it was, like, during a, the, the playoff games or something, but, nonetheless, I called a home run during a game. It's awesome. Well, thanks for watching. Paul Reviews Everything. That is my baseball story. Uh, I don't really have much more sports stories. I think I have a football story that I might tell you later. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. Paul Reviews Everything.